that laugh has gotta go. <laughs> what is that? What's up everyone, I'm Megan Trainer, and I'm about to play Expensive Taste Test. Ooh, with Cosmo. <laughs> Paving the way to her self-acceptance, one of the most popular plus-size singers faced all the sharp edges of talking and writing songs about the female body, gender stereotypes, and feminism. Megan Trainer has long dreamt of becoming a performing artist, supported by her multi-talented family. Yet she could hardly imagine that the honesty of her original song's lyrics would bring so much negativity her way. Was there someone special to support her during the tough period of her rising singing career? We shall find out. Born on the 22nd of December 1993 in Nantucket, Massachusetts, USA, Megan Elizabeth Trainer didn't surprise her parents when she said she wanted to connect her life with music, as many of her family members were musicians. Her father, Gary Trainer, despite working as a jeweler, was also an organist at a Methodist church and a music teacher. Megan's mother, Kelly Trainer, encouraged her daughter to develop her music career, even though her daughter didn't actually have formal music training. She played a lot by ear and arranged a version of the song Heart and Soul, recorded on GarageBand software, since it was all Taylor had to record her own music. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. When Megan turned 12, her father suggested that she join his cover band Island Fusion to perform along with her younger brother and her aunt. The family band became quite successful, opening Beanie Man shows. At 13, Megan wrote her own first song, Give Me a Chance, and enjoyed the process of songwriting maybe even more than simply performing. By age 15, Megan's parents had built a home studio for her, so by the time she turned 17, she had already released three independent albums of her own music and covers. From 2013, Taylor wrote songs for Sabrina Carpenter, Hunter Hayes, R5, and many others. Relocating to Nashville from her hometown to have an easier communication process with her managers and other colleagues. The same year, she wrote her breakthrough song, All About That Bass, released in June 2014. Despite massive support from her family, Megan was often frustrated by the criticism her songwriting received. After All That Bass was released, Taylor was accused of spreading the stereotype that a woman's worth is defined by men. The lyrics of her song hinted that since men like girls with curves, a girl doesn't have to care much if she is not model skinny and can just enjoy whatever shape she has. Never exercised, Megan also struggled a lot with her form when she understood that she didn't look like most other cover girls. I just wrote a fun song about loving your booty and loving your body. Megan answered the critics for allegedly shaming skinny girls. However, there was a boy who helped Megan to feel that she was right about her beauty, Charlie Puth, another aspiring singer and long-term friend and Taylor's admirer. As Charlie once mentioned, he and Megan had been good friends for a long time before in April 2015 releasing their duet song Marvin Gaye, posting the official video of the track on YouTube. According to the plot of the music video, Charlie and Megan make the school prom hot, performing the song which led to all students and even teachers kissing. The video abruptly stops at the moment Charlie approaches Megan, also wanting to kiss her, but their fans could witness the kiss only several months later. Megan and Charlie performed Marvin Gaye at the American Music Awards event and dancers were kissing on stage, repeating the plot of the music video. Yet no one could expect that Megan and Charlie would share a long, tender kiss at the end of their performance, which lasted too long to look like a friendly one, or something just for the show. A kiss? They ate each other, wrote the fans after witnessing the scene. How on earth could they just be friends? Rumors of Megan and Charlie's supposedly secret affair appeared early in 2015, right after the release of their mutual video which, as of 2020, has harvested almost 650 million views. They were spotted together at the premiere of the Furious 7 movie, since Charlie was the author of the theme song See You Again, dedicated to the late Paul Walker, star of the previous Fast and the Furious movies, along with the rapper Wiz Khalifa. Nevertheless, 
their performance at the American Music Awards forced them to clear up rumors about their fling. At first, we were like, holy s, what did we just do? I have a girl kind of in my life right now that I'm not making too public, and I don't want people to get the wrong idea. But without Megan's initial push, I wouldn't really be anywhere, Charlie confessed, talking to USA Today. Well, their fans weren't at all happy with this explanation. Megan kept silent, not commenting on the performance at all. Only Charlie still insisting, Megan is literally like my best friend. I didn't know people would care about my lips on my friend's lips so much, he said to USA Today, not mentioning why his hand was on Megan's lower back during that not-so-just-friend's kiss. I can see where your hand is, she's a good friend, sure, nodded Ellen DeGeneres when she had Charlie on a talk show to discuss his career, obviously doubting that his words about the friendship were true. Ellen was in fact the person who discovered Charlie and offered to sign him to her label 1111, but he re-signed to Atlantic Records. However, even Ellen couldn't bring Puth to come clean, and his and Megan's fans are still guessing if there was something between them or not. Even before all those goings on with Charlie Puth, Megan met popular Hollywood actor Daryl Sabara, Spy Kids Project Blue Book, at a house party in Los Angeles in 2014. However, sources say that they didn't start dating until two years later. It was Chloe Grace Moretz, the star of The Equalizer and Red Shoes, who organized that double date when they met each other once again to supposedly realize at once that they were made for each other. It all happened. It was love at first sight for me, Dow shared in an open conversation with Megan entitled Dirty Radio with Megan Trainer" at Apple Music Hits. The star of the Spy Kids movie series also admitted that he was very nervous about his beard, which looked more like a scrub he forgot to wash from his face, promising himself if she can love me at my scrubbiest, then she can love me no matter what. Megan's impression of the first date with Daryl was also very bright. She was amazed how interested he was in her love for music, how he wanted to know more about her, etc. They shared a love for the same movies, for the same music styles, for dogs they both adored. Having so much in common, they dated for a year and then eventually became engaged. It was clear that Megan's relationship with Daryl was no gimmick, unlike her alleged affair with Charlie Puth. While the entertainment industry discussed Megan's first single, All About That Bass, which hit 2.4 billion views in September 2020 and tried to decide whether it was sexist or not, she released another single entitled Dear Future Husband. Could she ever know that she had already met the guy she addressed in the song too? You need to take me on a date. Bring me flowers every anniversary. Tell me I'm beautiful, sometimes, if you want to get the special lovin'. Megan reasoned about the perfect match for her in 2014. Well, looks like Daryl got the whole list checked, as when he popped the most important question, Megan didn't hesitate for a minute to say yes. The news of their engagement hit the headlines of tabloids in December 2017, as Daryl proposed on Megan's birthday, 22nd December. The love of my life at Daryl Sabara made all of my dreams come true. He proposed to me under a tunnel of beautiful Christmas lights and surprised me with my family and friends," Megan shared in her Instagram post the next day. You are the most beautiful fiancé in the world, echoed Daryl in his social media profile, pleasing Megan with just the right words he dreamt about. The engagement became a major final chord of 2017 for Megan, who had undergone two surgeries on her vocal cords and suffered panic attacks being afraid to die or to lose her voice, which, as she said, was almost the same for her, and she definitely needed some extra help and support, which Dow provided. On the 22nd of December 2018, again precisely on Megan's birthday, Sabara and Trainer married in an intimate ceremony in the backyard of their house. Only friends and family attended the ceremony, which was decorated with white roses. Megan and Daryl seemed to enjoy their married life, making each other happy in both small and big ways. Thus, Megan organized the Spy Kids reunion, arranging for Daryl and his co-star Alexa Panavega to meet online and to watch the first volume of Spy Kids together on Instagram Live. As of 2020, Megan still posts romantic video compilations on her relationship with Daryl, also working on her upcoming Christmas album, A Very Trainer Christmas, which is to be released in late 2020. Daryl is still working on the animation series Ben 10, 
in which he voices over several characters, such as Heat Blast and Reenactor. In July 2020, Megan released her new single, Make You Dance, and provoked speculation about her gaining some weight. A lot of her followers and fans decided that she was expecting. However, Sabara and Trainer haven't confirmed these rumors. Check out my new album I just dropped. It's called Treat Myself. Stream it everywhere now. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button for Cosmo. Come on, do it right now. I'll do it with you. Blah, 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 blah. Hit it. I love you. I'm Mega Trainer. Mwah. Peace. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.